Hi, I thought I would uh, <clears throat> make a short video on this simple cycle of action. It's things that we are all common, commonly do from one time to another. That's just sharing our plans with uh, other users or to share a plan at uh, Chief Talk, for instance. The best way to do it is uh, built into the program. You, you just go to File, right there. Back up entire plan, left click. I usually select send backup files to zip archive <clears throat> because, well, I'll show you. I'm gonna click okay. <clears throat> and I get a dialog. Well, saying that I've got some materials missing, I'm gonna skip that. And then uh, you get a dialog to name the uh, zip file. I'm going to name it test. And save it to my desktop. You want to save it to a known location. If it's for a particular client, you put it in the client folder or wherever is appropriate on your hard drive. Then you click save and it saves the plan. <clears throat> now this plan isn't terribly complicated, but it's all also, but it is multi-floor of uh, a commercial project that I modeled that should be built in South Korea. Give you some idea here what it looks like and then we'll take a look at the zip file. <clears throat> so if you, if you attach a file that's open actively in chief, then the file and doesn't get sit pro doesn't get sent properly. And so, um, The other person who receives the file then doesn't see the file the same way you see it on your PC. So using the file backup entire plan is the, is the best method. Well, let's take a look at, uh, here's test zip. I'm gonna double click on this to open it and you'll see it's, there's a lot of stuff in it. Not just a plan file, but all texture material texture file that are uh, associated with that plan file. See, there's the plan file right there. And it's pretty, pretty good size one, 46 megabytes. And I think that the zip, let's see how large the zip is. Well, 40, okay, that, that's an unusually large one. <laughs> you couldn't share this on Chief Talk. But you get the idea on most uh, plans that you're that are not fully developed and this is the best way to do it and other users when they open it they don't get the error messages about missing uh, texture files and, and so forth and they can see it exactly like you see it. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope this helps some of you guys. Have a good day.